Okay, so just a little backstory on this before we get into the haul because this story is kind of the reason I'm making this entire video. So in September of last year, I moved to the other side of my state to live with uh, one of my friends. We've been cool since we were like nine, right? So we did, I did that at the end of October, like a month later, I was like, bro, this is shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head back up to my part of the state because that part was, was bad. There was nothing to do. There was nobody. All the jobs paid like crap and they all paid like crap because all the places to live were shit. So the cost of living was low. Anyway, I moved back. We still had a lease though, so I paid him for like November, December. He hit me back up in January, right? Didn't have any money saved up or anything. Still having, I was having to pay for a whole bunch of stuff that was going on in my personal life. I didn't have a lot of money, right? So I sold almost every single manga that I had. I sold my Tokyo Ghoul box set, my Full Metal Alchemist box set, my One Piece box set. Everything I had complete, I sold it. The only things that I kept were a silent voice, Bakuman, Uzumaki, and a couple of other things. Now, in February, he hit me up for more money, and I was like, no. <laughs> like, I don't got it. And dude never hit me up again. We were cool for like 10 years. Dude never hit me up again. Kind of a shit move. It's whatever. Either way, I got all the money that he wanted in my account. I've been saving it there just in case he asked me for it. And since it's been five months, almost six months now, I decided, fuck it. I'm just gonna buy back some of my manga, <laughs> right? So I have 102 volumes of manga right here. And we're gonna go over everything I bought. So I'm not gonna waste any more of the time. Let's just cue the intro and get right into the video. Okay, so like I said, over a hundred different volumes here, so I'm not going to waste anyone's time. We're just going to jump straight into it. First, we got Tomie by Junji Ito, and if you have never read any Junji Ito stuff, you're missing out. You're missing out. Easily one of the best people that have ever written horror manga, ever. This is part of the three main ones. This is Tomie, there's another one called Uzumaki, and another one called Gyo that I have not read yet, don't even own it. But yeah, Junji Ito Tomie, if you haven't read it, go and read it. Okay, next up, we have Berserk. So what I'm gonna do is this. So we got Berserk. I don't think I need to tell anybody what Berserk is. Uh, I just decided to pick this up while I was out a couple weeks ago. I've been reading through it. I'm going to make a video about it. Uh, from what I've read online, this is what is called the Black Swordsman arc. Not sure if that's an actual arc name, but that's what this is. So I'm going to finish reading it up probably today, make a video script tonight, and probably have a video ready in a couple days for it. Okay, so next up, we have... Full Metal Alchemist, the Full Metal Editions. So, like I said, I had to sell off all of my manga, pretty much, except for Bakuman and Asylum Voice. So, I decided instead of paying $300 for the regular box set, I was going to splurge a little extra money for these nice hardcover copies. These are the Full Metal Editions. The art wraps around the entire manga. It's got these glossy pages, you know, it's got a few color pages toward the beginning. And it has some little extras, I think most of it is just sketch art. There you can see the sketch art of Ed. But yeah, I got volumes 1 through 9 of this. If you're interested in picking them up, there are 18 of them, with the 18th releasing in August. Alright, next up is kind of weird, but... It's My Hero Academia. Uh, it's it's a odd number of volumes, I know. So we got 19, 24, 26, 27, 28, and 29. And I got number 3. It's somewhere behind me up on a shelf. But I found these at Walmart. And I decided why not. Uh, basically, I'm pretty sure this is um, the Gentle Criminal art. Yeah. 
And then these are the war arc that will be animated for season six. So yeah, My Hero Academia, just got a few of them. All right, next up is an art book, not a manga. This is the complete art of Full Metal Alchemist. It is basically just a huge collection of a whole bunch of art pieces that Hiromu or Arakawa yeah, Hiroma Arakawa were re released over all the years that she wrote Full Metal Alchemist. And yes, it is a she, if you didn't know. But yeah, this costs about 35 bucks. But it, you can get it on Amazon right now for about 20 I think. I think that's what it is, 20 bucks. That's what I got it for, at least. So yeah, all the way up to 2010. I think it goes up to 2012. But full color. Some color manga panels. A whole bunch of stuff that I'm pretty sure you've probably never seen before. So yeah. Full Metal Alchemist, if you like it, definitely go pick this up. It's pretty cool to have on a collection. It's just huge as shit. Okay, I only have a few more things to show before I have to bring out these bookends to, to keep things up. So we got the first two volumes of Solo Leveling. And if you didn't know, rest in peace to Dubu. He was the, um, the artist behind solo leveling and he recently just passed away like right after I bought these but yeah they're paperback they're in a western style so this is the cover but yeah I just it's the only manhwa I've ever read so on default it's my favorite but it is really good and I figured why not just have the print version of it especially since it's still releasing I don't have to buy all at one time all right Next up we have Tokyo Revengers and this is another series where uh, <laughs> I very much disagree with the anime and manga community. I actually fucking love Tokyo Revengers. It's not in my top 10, probably somewhere in top 20, but this is the Barnes and Noble version omnibus that just released a few days ago. I actually got it a couple days early, but incredibly good. I want to make a video about Tokyo Revenger soon because I have a lot of thoughts about it and why people dislike it. But anyway, moving on. All right, so the last before we move into the big stuff, ironically, is Attack on Titan, the Colossal Edition. Uh, I'm not going to be able to fit this into frame and let go of it. So just you're just going to have to bear with me here. So this is, I think, the first four volumes of Attack on Titan. God, I hate that sound. But uh, it goes all the way up to the female Titan arc. So I'm pretty sure one of the last things is Aaron seeing it. No, okay. So it's right before the female Titan shows up. But it is the 57th Recon mission. It does have some color pages. Uh, it doesn't have really anything else extra. So unless you're like a super huge fan of Attack on Titan, there is no point in you buying this <laughs> like this this was a mistake i'm only gonna keep it because it's comical and i i might as well like it's the only one i'm gonna get for this but yeah just a uh, a couple color pages here and there but it is heavy as shit you're not gonna be able to hold it up while you read it you gotta read it on a table and it doesn't help that the spine is just glued if you can see that so whenever you're bending it, you're straight up just bending the spine. Bend it too much and the pages will start to fall apart because the glue will wear out. Bad investment. Don't buy it. Okay, so next up we're moving on to the big things. So this, we have volumes 1 through 23 of Demon Slayer. So this is a whole story that I'm really not going to delve into right here, but uh, essentially I bought this on a whim and I dropped the anime when it was first airing. So I've literally never seen any of this. Right now I'm currently on volume 10, that's the Entertainment District arc, and I have a video already made about season 1 and the movie, so look forward to that one. Alright, next up we have Dr. Stone volumes 1 through 22. So. In the English, 22 is all that there is, but in Japanese, there are 25 volumes, and that covers the entire series. So we're still getting 
a little bit at a time for Dr. Stone, but as of right now, this is all we got going on. So yeah, I bought this off of Right Stuff Anime during their 35th anniversary sale, so I got it for pretty cheap. Dr. Stone is, though, in my, definitely at least, my top 10 favorite manga. The anime is coming next year, I believe, hopefully next year. Uh, we just got the one-hour interlude for Ryusui, who is an amazing character, and Volume 10 is actually where that starts. So if you just want to read the manga and not watch the anime, pick up Volume 9, refresh your memory, pick up 10, and all of this has not been animated yet. So I'm not going to spoil anything, I'm just going to show you this cover, but yeah, amazing. Amazing series, highly recommend it, go pick it up for yourself. Alright, and last but most definitely not least, we have volumes 1 through 34 of Attack on Titan. Now, normally, this would cost all over like $500, normally, but I got it on eBay for $200. It was a great steal, dude needed it gone ASAP, I verified these are all legit copies, so happy I got this for such an amazing deal. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the anime has so far covered all the way up to maybe volume 30 or 31. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere around there because I'm not even going to try and spoil it. Uh, I've only seen clips of the newest anime season. Haven't really watched it because I'm a manga reader. I'll probably watch this last season just to be part of the hype as it's going on. But, but yeah, other than the regular 34 volumes, I also did get these three. They are special editions, which means they basically just have variant covers than the original releases did. So here is volumes uh, 16, 18, and 19. You can see they are three different arts, and it's not actually a different cover. It's just a sleeve, as you can see, volume 19. But I wish they had these for all... 34 volumes, but these are, from what I remember, and from what I've seen for some of the other ones, uh, these are Western uh, comic book artists. So, Tony Moore, I don't remember what he is, I'm pretty sure he's DC, Superman, Batman, stuff like that. So, as you can see, instead of volume 16, having uh, Aaron's spine thing, and Historia holding the needle, there is... What I'm assuming is Rod's Titan with Aaron right there. We got Rhino and all the Minion Titans, the Pure Titans. And here, this is during Bertolt's siege, him and Reiner's, when they tell Aaron who they are. That is Bertolt. I don't really like this one. I think they kind of made the Colossal Titan look smaller. Because if you see right here, that's his thigh. There's no conceivable way his thigh should be that close to his chest and they are that close to him and look that big. I think it just made him look small. But nonetheless, so happy I got this at an amazing price and really, really happy that I got these special editions. But yeah, if you have stuck around for this entire video, thank you so much. This took so much money to accomplish and now this video is taking a lot of time to go over every single thing that is in my collection. I was gonna do an unboxing for every single one of these, but it got to a point where I was like, damn, this is, this is not, this is not gonna work. Uh, <laughs> let me know if maybe you'd wanna see, like, me go over, like, all the covers of Attack on Titan, or, like, all the covers of Dr. Stone, or the covers on the Full Metal Editions, because I don't know all the characters' names for Demon Slayer. <laughs> Like, I, I just met uh, Tengen, I think his name, Tengen, Tengen, I don't know, uh, Berserk, definitely don't know all the characters for that, haven't even finished reading the first deluxe edition, but yeah, but thank you for sticking around for this entire haul video, and I will see you guys in the Demon Slayer video that's coming up very soon. Are you